Tens of thousands of people have turned out in Madagascar to hear the final rallies. Out of more than 30 candidates, the real battle is between three former presidents. The first thing in order to live in peace is to respect the law, to respect the constitution. Harry Rajuan Arman Pian has done it, and I would like ladies and gentlemen, the people of Madagascar, to do the same. After a disputed election in 2001, the former French colony has struggled to overcome political divisions. That led to violence and then a 2009 military-backed coup that ousted the president at the time, Marc Ravalomanan. Nine years ago, it was André Rajolina who instigated the change. This time, he's trying to take power without military muscle. Malagasy people live in despair now, and I'm here to give hope, once again, to this people and fix the stall development of Madagascar. They say the country must be saved. We live in darkness now, and I'm here to bring back light to each family, each household. People's expectations are plain to see, wanting to believe their politicians' promises in a country that is rated by the World Bank as one of the poorest. The instability in Madagascar stems from poverty, corruption and disunity. Without political stability, investors and aid agencies pulled out. Even compared to 2013, the stakes of the 2018 elections are higher. Because it's about consolidating democracy on the one hand, but it's also about settling the accounts from 2009 once and for all, through the ballot box. But the priority for most voters is having access to clean water, electricity and jobs. So far, though, it doesn't look good. There are already complaints about suspected irregularities in the electoral roll. Yolo Abdavid, TRT World.